Welcome back, guys. Uh, last time we worked together and I made this graphic organizer that's gonna help me um, get ready to write my story. Remember, I researched an animal called the binturong. Um, so uh, I thought about, well, what does it look like, right? And I remember reading that it looks like between, a, like a mix between a cat and a bear. It's furry, has a tail, and he's about medium size. Uh, and then I thought about some of the things that it can do. And I know that it lives in the treetops. Okay, it's an arboreal animal. It lives in the treetops. Um, so it does a lot of climbing up and down when it needs to. But in between the trees, he's climbing around a lot. Then I learned about some of the things that binturongs eat. And learned that they like meat and vegetables, like most of us. Um, so they're, what they eat mostly is insects or bugs, uh, sometimes birds, and fruit. And something cool that I learned about them is that they have scent glands on their tail that make a smell when they walk through the jungle and they leave it along trees and it smells like butter popcorn from the movie theater. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use, start my story. You can see here that I've begun my story. Um, I know I'm gonna be writing about the Binturong. I haven't really decided how I'm gonna make the illustration yet for my art piece here so that I could show everybody what the Binturong looks like. I'm gonna have to look, do a little bit more research on that, so I'm not quite ready for that, so I can come back to that. But I did wanna go ahead and write my name on it because this is gonna be my story. So I'm the author, so my name's on it, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write about what it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna, see here it says what it looks like and I remember I wrote that it looks between it looks like a cat and a bear mixed together okay so I'm gonna think of a sentence to add to my story here I'm gonna leave this off to the side for now I'm gonna open my story here and get ready to write okay so I'm gonna write that the binturong looks like a mix between a cat and a bear so I'm gonna write the Binturong looks like a mix of a cat and a bear. Now that I read it, I'm gonna check it. The Bintrong looks like a mix of a cat and a bear. So I'm definitely thinking already about what I'm gonna to have to draw here. So I'm gonna to have to draw the face. So once I practice with the cover, I think I'll be ready to draw a nice face here. Cause I want to show that it kind of looks like a cat and a, and a bear. So I want to show its face to really um, show that to people. The binturong looks like a mix of a cat and a bear, okay? So I'm gonna check capital letter, spacing looks good, and my period, okay. So the next thing that I remember reading about the binturong is that it is furry and has a tail. I know it's medium size, but I'm not sure I'm gonna add that to it. Maybe I'll just draw it and people will see that it's medium size. But I'm gonna write that it is furry and has a tail. Okay. All right, it is furry. It is furry and has a long tail. Okay, so here I think I'll Maybe just draw the back of him and just show the back. Maybe like his foot here. That'll be the back of him. And his leg, and he's got a tail. So I'm gonna make like a tail. It's coming like this. And I remember it has a pretty long tail. So since this is the tail, I'm going to label that. That's the tail. All right, so let me reread it. It is 
furry and has a long tail. Okay, that makes sense to me. Just start with a capital letter. Yep. And we have spaces between them. Yep. And do I have a period at the end? I do. All right. So now I'm going to think about, well, what else am I going to write about the Venturon? So here my chart. I've already talked about um, that it's like a cat and a bear, so I've checked that one off. Um, let's see. I talked about that he is furry and has a tail. Okay, so now I'm going to think about, well, what can it do? Right? So I'm going to write that Venturons live in treetops. Okay? So I'm going to draw... Oh, sorry, I'm gonna go to the page. I'm gonna write here. Bin to wrongs. Live in the tree tops. Okay. So let's see, for my drawing, I'm gonna have to draw. You know, maybe like trees going up and maybe like branches and maybe some binturong sitting in the trees. But I'm gonna look at the internet and get a better idea of what I want my picture to look like. Um, so I'm not ready for the illustration quite yet. I'm gonna have to come back to that. So let's see, i cross this one off my checklist. Um, and I did mention that they did climb. So I'm gonna write a sentence about binturongs climb, right? And I read that they use their tails to balance. So I'm gonna add the fact that they can balance into this question, or sorry, into this sentence. So I'm gonna use, let's see, how could I say that? Hmm. Binturongs are good climbers. They use their tail to balance. Oh, that'll be good. So I'm gonna write that. Binturongs are Good, and you notice I'm putting spaces here between my words. Climbers. Okay. So Bentrongs are good climbers, period. They use their tail to balance. Okay. They use their tail to balance. So I know I'm gonna have a picture here of a binturong climbing up a tree and climbing up it so fast. Okay. And I'm gonna add another page. So now I've talked about a few things. I've talked about that they look like a cat and a bear. So I've talked about what they look like and that they're furry and have a tail. I've written about the, where they live and what they can do, um, how they climb the tree tops and they can climb up trees. So now I'm gonna talk about um, the things that they eat, right? So here I have that binturongs eat insects or bugs. Maybe I'll use bugs, might be a little easier to write. Eat bugs, birds, and fruit. So I'm going to write that sentence. Binturongs eat bugs, birds, and fruit. Fruit. So I'm gonna write binturongs. Eat um, bugs, bugs, comma, birds, and fruit. Okay, so that I talked about what they eat. Let me read it. Binturongs eat bugs, birds, and fruit. Okay, so here I'm gonna draw a couple things that they might eat. So maybe I'll draw a bird, maybe a little bird, because I couldn't imagine him eating a very big bird. And they eat birds, uh, they eat bugs, so maybe I'll draw like a bug here. Birds, I'm gonna label that birds, bugs, and 
fruit. Maybe I'll drop like an apple. I'm gonna put this apple. Oh, no, that's an apple. Okay. Ventrons eat bugs, birds, and fruit. And since I have a page here that I didn't use, I'm gonna come back to this page because I did forget something really cool. Maybe I'll do it on the last page. Um, the cool part, remember, was that they're, um, they leave a scent. Their scent smells like butter popcorn. So I'm gonna write Bintron's. Scent smells like butter pop corn, right? So maybe I'll draw like there's like a giant tail here, right? So label that so people know that's the tail, All right? And over here they said something somewhere on his tail it makes a scent I'm gonna make like a scent maybe this is like a scent cloud people think that's what it smells like in the scent cloud I'll draw like the movie theater tub of popcorn that you can get there all right popcorn so maybe I'll just label it too so everybody can see that's what it smells like Smells like popcorn. All right, that was pretty cool. All right. Okay, so really quickly, let me show you uh, what I have done so far. I'm not finished with the story yet. There's still some more illustrations, but I was able to use this um, graphic organizer to kind of help me write the book. So I talked about what it looked like talked about where it lives, I talked about what it ate, birds, bats, and fruit, and then I even got a chance to mention on the last page uh, what um, was interesting or something kind of cool about it, and that was that its scent that it leaves behind on its tail smells like butter popcorn. And you can see that I have my cover. I still need my illustrations, my illustration on for the cover. The Binturong looks like a mix of a cat and a bear, so I need to draw a picture there. It is furry and has a long tail, so I might add some color or might add something to make it look really furry. Binturongs live in the tree tops, so I'll draw some Binturongs maybe sitting in a tree. Binturongs are good climbers. They use their tail to balance. So I'll make sure that they have the tail balancing or maybe the tail grabbing onto another branch so that they don't fall. Binturongs eat bugs, birds, and fruit. Okay, um, so I drew some of the things that they ate there. I might color it a little bit later to make it look a little nicer. And the last one, Binturong scent smells like butter popcorn. So I kind of showed, this is like where the scent comes out of, and this is like a tub of popcorn from the movie theater. And it smells like popcorn. Okay, so I hope this little mini lesson gave you an idea of what you can do to your books, or what you can do when you're working on your stories or books. So like the great writers that you are, keep working hard, and I can't wait for you guys to show me your book next time we see each other. Bye.